that is quite the view. Yeah, look over there. That's the road we came on. It yeah. goes all the way up. Isn't that amazing? Yeah, I mean, I, I really love it up here. It's just so beautiful. And every single time I've come to Taiwan, I've really, you know, it's been kind of breathtaking, the scenery. Right. Yeah. Um, I, I've said this way too many times, maybe not in these videos though, but when I lived here, the coolest thing I ever did was come up here when it was snowing, right? Yeah, because it and snows. It's quite cold now. Right. Was to come up here when it was snowing and within the same day go swimming at the beach. Yeah. W you know, in heat. <laughs> well, it was, it was hot when we started out I know. today. It's pretty yeah. insane, eh? Love it's it. fantastic. Anyway, uh, I thought since we're here looking at all this beautiful scenery and stuff, it would be a good time to talk about a topic. Okay. So, what do you want to talk about? I thought that, you know, we usually alternate. I thought it was your turn. Yeah. I came up with the last one. I guess it is my turn. Um, what would you like to talk about? Yeah, I'd like to talk about uh, food. I know it's a bit of a, a strained topic. We did a whole series about food, right? We did. But, well, how about we give people a top five, like Asian foods they should try? Like okay. we don't, we're not going to limit it just to Chinese food, just Asian food in general. I'm not even going to go what you should try. I'm just going to pick my favorites. Okay, yeah, I mean, that's, that that's, cool? that's good, yeah. So, so very, we've, this entire, like, since we started this channel, have picked the stupidest settings to talk about the most unrelated topics, but that's just how we roll. Yeah, I think we should be on the bikes when we talk about this as well, because it's a little topic. There's a better place to pull over down there, and we can, you know, continue on with it. So let's take the that, road. Check out that old M3, by the way. Oh yeah, that's really cool? nice. The car, the car guys will enjoy that. Yeah, they certainly will. You know, um, it may look all serene and nice over here, but if you if you want to be away from the tourists, don't come near where there's a parking lot because. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> look at yeah. that. Look at that kid's wearing his graduation gown. Came up here to take his photos. Oh, nice. See that? On a scooter. That's yeah. kind of cool. It is. Scooted up here and gonna get some photos. It's so picturesque though over here. It's beautiful. Look up there at all the the people. You know. Standing on that, this wait, you can't see it. What am I? Yeah, up there, people standing on there taking photos of this gorgeous scenery. Anyway, food. Yeah. Let's uh, let's get on the bikes and talk about this. Cool. <laughs> Dude, you see? Yeah, I see. It'll go. She'll go. Try the battery. It's been charging. See? Okay. Have, thank have faith. You have little faith. No, I'm I'm sorry, but I don't like that. Who likes that? Who goes around and says, damn, you know, I love when my bike doesn't start. They did a great job of that car. Anyway, um, Winston. Yes, so food. <laughs> and I thought it was interesting because we're in, we've been hopping around different Asian countries for years now, right? You, you know, it's really bizarre. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's such a beautiful scene over there. I told you. Look at that. <laughs> Look um, at that. You know, we've been in Taiwan now for quite a number of days and I have not had any actual Taiwanese food. Everything that we've eaten has been <laughs> Japanese or Western or Indian or whatever. Right. And but it's that awesome. is not to say Taiwan doesn't have good food because Taiwan has one of my top five dishes. And night markets, which by the way, you guys are going to be tr uh, treated to a, a massive night market episode along this trip, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, anyway, isn't yeah. this awesome? I have this, I have this really ancient video on my old YouTube channel. Don't go to that, by the way, but I'll put it in here. Um, Stop there, maybe? Yeah, yeah, let's do that. Okay, uh, let me turn around. Because you'll lose the view soon. Um, but me and Vivi going around this corner, and it was on like a Docomo phone. One of those, you know, those old yeah. flip ones? Yeah. Uh, anyway, we're going to yeah. park here. Docomo means anywhere. Nice. <laughs> Dokomi, do, Docomo is yo. Let's go everywhere together. Ah, ah, I am struggling. I am struggling. Give me a second. Okay. Um, okay, so we're, we're supposed to be talking about our favorite food, so come on, man. Just, let's just continue right after we're done. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, what? You know what I'm I mean? editing it. We're going to fly the drone in a sec, and you'll see that footage coming in here. Now, because yeah. <laughs> Wiz is going to put that right in there. Yeah, I'm just going to throw Wiz it is in. also going to not look at me when I talk, because that's what he does usually. <laughs> I'm just going <laughs> to sit right here. Okay, good. No, I'm going to sit right here. Okay. 
What is your top five? Because you just faffed for like six minutes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Sorry, guys. It's just elevation. It is. First of all, in Asia, my favorite Asian cuisine is Japanese for sure. If I had to choose from any particular country, it would be Japanese. Um, it's not to say that I don't like the others. I love Chinese food. Um, I don't like Thai food or Vietnamese food. Uh, I'll be honest with you. Lemongrass, <laughs> you know, I'm not uh, a big fan. We're going to piss a lot of people off. Coconut that. and... I was actually going to be a dick yeah. and be like, what's wrong with you? I love that stuff, but I actually hate it. I'm not a picky eater, but Vietnamese and Thai food is just so bad to me. I just, it is the lemongrass. It's the lemongrass, and it's all those, like, you know, like, Tom Young Gung soup? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's Tom got, Yung. like, sticks and shit in it. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? You're, like, yeah. chewing on twigs and shit, yeah. and, like, leaves. I know. I know and I went to Vietnam. I've had the real stuff. That's the thing is, like, I've had good Thai food in America. I've had good Vietnamese food in America, but it's not what I had in those countries. Yeah. I yeah, was yeah. full of fish sauce, lots of shrimp paste, yes. very spicy, <laughs> yeah. and lots of, like, raw herbs and shit. It's not yummy. Can we stop faffing around? Yeah. <laughs> We're okay. talking about our favorites. <laughs> That's our <laughs> least favorite. Yeah, okay. So I'd say uh, when it comes to... Uh, Japanese food, again, my favorite Japanese food is really, really difficult to define as well because there's so many. Sure. Well, we're doing top five foods in Asia, right? Okay, yeah. So, you know, like if you go to, oh, man, like, like an izakaya and you sit down and you can have all those barbecued stuff like we did the other night. That's okay. Okay, it's still Japanese barbecue. Like, yeah, I'll put ba Japanese barbecue all the way up there. So you number know. five. Yeah. Okay. What's yours? Uh, my number five would be ramen. Um, a good ramen, a real ramen, because you can have really shitty, boring ramen. Yeah. And yeah, a real yeah. good ramen in Japan, there is no comparison. You can't eat it anywhere else after that, right? And I don't want to sound like a snob. I'm not a snob. I don't know ramen very well. But when I had it there, I realized it's, like, one of the best foods out there. Yeah. Um, number you know, four. Oh, another, answer. Yeah, number four, again, for me, uh, I'd have to go back to Japanese food. Is um, this, These are actually, I'm kind of going from my favorite backwards, to be honest. Okay. <laughs> Don't do that. Okay, well, well I'll, I'll <laughs> you remember suck it. suck at this. <laughs> I'm very bad you at this. You ever play favorites as a child? I know. What's your favorite color? And you, you answer, like, <laughs> red, but it's not really. <laughs> yeah, it's like my worst. No, I, I mean, gyu, gyudon, you know, where you've got, like, a bowl of beef, which is on top yeah, of rice. That's a good one. But what I love about it is in in Japan, especially when you order at those, you like order at a vending machine, and you can um, <laughs> tick the boxes, right? Right. And then uh, you can add like extra cheese and stuff. I right? remember you told me a story. And then I did like five times extra cheese or something. And or they were like, times. what? Yeah, they they actually asked me if I'd made a mistake, and I'm like, no, no, no. And it just came like a bowl of molten lava cheese. It was <laughs> awesome. Your <laughs> food preferences are probably not going to match up with a lot of normal people. <laughs> no, no, they're, they're but that's not. okay. This is yeah. what it's all about. And we're talking about Asian food here, you know, because if people travel to somewhere like Taiwan or Japan or if they go to China, you know. So I think I've, I, I could go on about Japanese food all day, but we have to move on to My others. Well, I'm not going to. I'm picking every country. It doesn't matter. Yeah. My number four is uh, Hufen. Hufen, yeah. Chow Hufen. I think it's one of, it's underrated. Yeah. Yeah, like crack noodles. Yeah, crack noodles. I mean, it's just, it looks so boring, but it's amazing, especially with chili sauce. And it's a great beer food. You'll love it. Yeah, uh, I, it's so three. good. Okay, next one. Uh, let me choose one, uh, something Chinese. I'm going to say hot pot. And the reason I'm going to say this is not because of the food itself. Remember last time on, during Quest for the Best, I made the, had that epiphany that I actually don't like it? <laughs> me too. Yeah. Before that, I was always like, yeah, hot pot. But you know what? It I, sucks. It's, it, but it's the experience. Right. No, if you haven't had it. It. It's amazing, like especially in China, you sit around this massive big round table and everyone's just having a blast and you get to choose what you want and you like throw things that you want. It's so so it's really like joyful and cheerful and you know, you you don't need to be like, Oh, I don't really want to eat that or whatever. You can just put the meat in and take it out and eat it, the stuff you want, right? So yeah, I love hot pot for the experience, but the food itself it's kinda like boiling meat, you know. I don't know what I'm doing. Uh, yeah, it's very uncomfortable. Um I am going to disagree with you on that one, but this is personal choices, right? Yeah, um, no, you, you are supposed to, and I, and I said it doesn't taste good. I'm talking about the experience. No, I agree, and I'll agree with you if you haven't had it. If you've had it, f*** off. <laughs> Say <laughs> yeah. something else, you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and by the way, a little uh, annotation here. Yeah. The hot pot, if you're going to have it, have real Sichuan hot pot. Don't have the other crap. Um, you could have a good Mongolian hot pot. 
But when I've had hot pot abroad, like a general Chinese hot pot, it's so boring. Yeah. You yeah. got to have either the really good rich Mongolian broth one or you have like a really good spicy Sichuan one. I'm g- I'm going to say have the cheap McDonald's of hot pot which is little sheep. That's good though. Yeah, yeah. That's a good example. Because it's it's That's really Mongolian. nice, yeah. My number 3. Um my number 3 is going to be um I just had it. I just okay. had it. Oh, yeah. my number 3 is going to be um Kao Chuan Yang. So you take a whole goat. Yeah. This is an Air Mongolian food. And uh, you roast the whole thing. Uh, that yeah. is an experience and it's delicious. Yeah, we've had that before. <laughs> At my birthday, remember? Yeah, wait, oh, yeah. I am so out of breath up here. Yeah, we're, we're high up. The bikes don't even start. I had to keep mine for like half an hour. Poor little lungs. But anyway, do you do you love that? Yeah, yeah, it's, it's amazing. So right? good. It's so Eating good. a whole goat leg. Yeah. Remember the one we had on Conquering Northern China? That was like roasted from the inside of its guts. I didn't like that one. It's too hard. It's stringy and tough. You won't find that anyway. <laughs> yeah, 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 <laughs> you know yeah, I mean? yeah, exactly. <laughs> Those yeah. most morbid things: sewing a goat into itself and cooking its own meat within its skin. Yeah, I know. But it was sh- fun though. Yeah, you should watch it. It's interesting. Sure. What's yeah. your number uh, three? Uh, it's is it my number three or number two? Number two. Sorry. Yeah. Um. Uh, I think I've kind of thought about my number one now. So okay. But, but I didn't so ask you that. Yeah. <laughs> my my number two, you know, I'm I'm kind of bored of it, but I I've got to say another one that's really good and it's always a safe one is Korean barbecue. Okay. And the reason being, what what I really like about Korean barbecue is. Uh, they give you these starters, you know, all these like little shao chu or whatever, like right. th- like all these. I love that. Yeah. yeah so they give you kim ch- fresh kimchi, fresh ve- vegetables, fresh this and that, and it's quite nice. They'll give you like a huge spread, and it's always for free. Uh-huh. And when they serve it, they serve it with crispy lettuce. Uh huh. And then you you can get like you can get really good stuff. Like there's a place near my house now in Shenzhen, which is actually run by Koreans. Okay. And they prepare and they marinate like really good pieces of of beef. For like days. Okay. So you get this delicious stuff and you cook it and it's really fantastic. You gotta have a good one. Yes. Because you can have some shit oh mall barbecue. Man. That that the problem is with China it's very hit and miss because right. they they open up chains and it doesn't work out well. But when it's good, it's, it's good. It's good. So you get good beef. It's cooked right there in front of you. You cook it yourself or they cook it for you. Right. And then you like put it in the crispy lettuce and right. eat it like a wrap and it's really delicious so right. you know you can get boring if you have it every day of the week but sure it's yeah i'd say that's my number two cool uh my number two yeah. my number two you ready for this yeah what's your number two na, 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 na. crap the miss is rolling in yeah. uh my number two i just had it and then the elevation made it go away my number two is oh i know it's another cantonese dish actually which mm-hmm. is weird because most i'm not gonna say cantonese cuisine is really awesome yeah but there's some really stellar dishes. You all like this. Okay. But it's probably one of my faves. Um, it is one of my faves. My number two favorite. It is lobster cheesy noodles. Oh, okay. And yeah, they I know use that. yeah they use um, eggs to make the noodles, so, this, so they're kind of spongy. Yeah. And they cook it with this rich cheesy sauce, and then yeah. this chock full of lobster. It's absolutely yeah. amazing. It's at weddings often. Yeah, I've Had seen it the it. other day in Hong Kong. Sasha loves that as well. It's yeah. really good. I know you can't eat shellfish, so like you wouldn't get it. But like I've never tried lobster, but I'm allergic to shrimp, and right. they're the See, same thing. It's the same yeah, family. Yeah. I wouldn't. I wouldn't. I wouldn't try toy it. with that, right? Yeah, exactly. But that's my number two for sure. What's your number one? Well, um, I'm in for a treat because my number one is the food that you find in the uh, Taiwan night markets. Okay. Can now, you choose one? <laughs> um, it, it's kind of difficult, but I think what I'll do is I'll just go ahead and give you one example of one thing that's good. It's called shou zhua bing. Shou zhua bing. Shou zhua bing is yeah. awesome. Uh, you get that's it in very mainland, Taiwanese. Yeah, you get it in mainland China, but they, it's always it's not bad. The same. It's always I've bad. I've never had a good one yeah. there. <laughs> Basically, it's kind of like... Um, it, it's almost like a pancake, yeah. right? But it's made out of a uh, savory bread. It's I have a re- I have really good footage here yeah. of a bad shoujua being being prepared. The thing is, th- you can pretty much say what you want on it. So they put like a sure. nice sauce, they put cheese, they put sausage, they put what you want, like right. lettuce, everything, and then it all comes together. Right. And s- and it's super delicious, especially in Taiwan. They'll add tons of cheese, and I love cheese. So yeah. I'd say shoujua being... And Every other cool little snack that you find in those right. uh, night markets, I'd say, is my number one That's Asian cool. dish. It's probably also the best experience. It's just freaking yeah. fun. Yeah. Um, my number one is also a Taiwanese dish. Okay. Um, it's my favorite. I think it's pound for pound my favorite food in the world other than buffalo chicken wings. Okay. And that is Lu Rao Fan. Oh, uh, right. Lu Rao Fan is, I made it the other day. 
Um, and it's actually a lot harder. It sounds simple, but it's a lot harder to make than you think. It's basically, they take a pork belly, not stomach, like yeah. the, the belly meat, right? Yeah. And they chop it up tiny. Yeah. So you got a little bit of meat, a little bit of fat and stuff. And they stew it in a crock pot. Yeah. With star anise, licorice, cinnamon, a little bit of sugar. Um, and then it turns into this rich, rich, sticky, thick gravy yeah. that they yeah. put over rice. But it's not jasmine rice. They use, weirdly enough, they use sushi rice, like donbei mi, like those, yeah. you know, those really good yeah, fat yeah. kernels. They put it on that, and then they put, like, an undercooked egg on top. Not, like, raw, just yes. so it's runny. And you mix that together, yeah. and I don't know how to explain this. It's just one of the most delicious things. It costs, like, 80 cents here, too. We, right, man? Yeah, well, we're obviously going to have to find we'll, some. We'll film it. Yeah. It's, yeah. it's literally one of my favorite foods in the world, so that's my awesome. number one. Okay, excellent. Well, we finally got through our list, and you know what? I'm actually kind of happy with that list. I thought I'd make mistakes, but I think <laughs> it's pretty accurate. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> are, you, are you proud of yourself? I am. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so delirious. Because, no, seriously, <laughs> you know when I'm... When I, when I want to go out <laughs> out to eat and I'm thinking like what can I go eat it's right. so, so difficult to think you, of anything you are really slow at making that decision <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'm uh, not a foodie I'm not one of no, those guys no, who you know no. like but yeah I'm, we're, tiny, we're I'm a little of a foodie we are in the best place in the world for food can I just say that it's a Taiwan, great fusion right Taiwan you've got Japanese Chinese Taiwanese we had like authentic Japanese food right because you know this place used to be ruled by the Japanese right, for so long right they love it here yeah, Japan. So they love like Japan with their, the waitresses and stuff were speaking proper Japanese right. to us. And Not um, just like a novelty. Yeah, it wasn't just like tacked on. Proper Japanese food. I had amazing Indian food the other night with Prozzi, you know. Um, I had good American food. We had like American diner, remember yesterday? it tasted yesterday? just like in America. Eggs Benedict right. and, you know, right. it's been amazing. Um, just love it. So anyway, yeah. Anything you want to tell our subscribers before we sign off this very faffy, very long almost 20 minute episode that was a fun episode yeah um, whether you are fat pieces of shit like us <laughs> yeah, we really, really you gotta lose watch weight. your way <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and we're, we're yelling at these motorcycles for not making it up the hill but it's our fault because yeah, we so weigh like so 100,000 pounds yeah um, whether you are that or not um, yeah. or you like food or not whether you like Asian food or not I hope you get a chance to try some of these out yeah because a lot of these dishes are very accessible yeah um, they're not too crazy or weird we didn't give any weird stuff and they're all delicious so I hope you enjoy that and let us know down below what is your favorite Asian food you can give us your top five as well in the comments yeah exactly and whether or not you part your hair to the left or the right while taking a selfie we love you all the same sure so until next time you know the drill just like this cool selfie couple stay awesome Take a breath, you fill up my lungs. Yeah. And if my mind.